Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm super excited to show you guys this 2021 Ford Mustang Mach-E GT. But I'll be referring to it as Mach-E just because that's just what I call it. I just call it the Ford Mach-E. But this grabber blue color looks fantastic. We do have, we oh, it just locked itself. We do have the performance edition, as you can tell from the red Brembo calipers. The normal one just has red calipers. It does not say Brembo on them. And the wheels look completely different on the performance edition but check out this grabber blue color in the sun man this color is crazy and let's take a quick look at the metallic real quick wow what a great color and they will be bringing this color to the mustang in 2022 the two-door mustang so i'm excited to see uh what that looks like hopefully it's still a metallic like this one but anyway let's jump into this mach -E. so the gts have a blacked out grill with that really cool design on there I think that color is called a uh, dark matter gray, if I'm not mistaken. I think someone let me know in my comments. And you have the lower gloss black down there. You have these really nice LED projector headlights, which check out my Mach-E GT at night video if you wanna see those. They look fantastic, by the way. Down there, we have some functional air curtains. You can see it goes through. Front parking sensors, front camera. That pony does light up. Since this is an electric car, let's go ahead and check out this charge port. You can see there that shows your state of charge and then uh, you can do the fast charging like that very simple easy to use and it does have a little light in there as well this one does have a nice black roof on there and then here's the sticker let's go ahead and take a look at it real quick so it says gt performance edition they got the panoramic roof and they got the ford Cobai 360 active 2.0 which includes the blue cruise the 360 camera and some other stuff so this one is completely fully loaded, $69,200. But you can get a base GT performance edition for around 65. See, we got the red calibers in the back as well. And in case you guys are curious, these are 245, 45 R20 tires and Pirelli P0s. Pretty nice wheel design there. Looking at the back, we have the nice clear taillights, got the little GT badge, rear parking sensors, and this more aggressive rear diffuser really like the way that looks so the roof actually isn't as slanted as it looks it's the black part that makes it look like it's more slanted than it really is so that's a really nice design that they did there you can see it's all black that one does have the glass roof like i said got black mirror caps then at the bottom there it says mach e 4x you guys can kind of see what the blue looks like in the shade it still looks very vibrant really good but before we hop inside let's go ahead and pop the front all right guys, just pop the front. The way you open it is just like you'd open up a hood. So you pull the latch twice over there and you can just pop it up. Got a nice electric pony in there. Got a pretty decent amount of storage space and it does have the drain hole right here. I think they might be getting rid of that for 2022. Um, I'm not sure, I'll have to double check on that. But uh, we have an LED light right here and then this is so you can get out in case you somehow manage to get in there. So there's the front of the Mach-E. And in case you guys are curious on, there we go. In case you guys are curious on power numbers, it has 480 horsepower and 634 pound-feet of torque with the dual motor all-wheel drive. So that is an improvement of 34 torque over the regular Mach-E GT. Go and open it up. There we go. This one has a nice silver uh, accent right there, some suede material, some nice vinyl uh, or like leather-like material, which feels really good. Uh, automatic up down for all four windows auto folding mirrors like I mentioned earlier we have memory seats we have this really nice eight-way power driver seat so yep eight-way these seats hold you in nicely and they also have a really cool look to them so it has the kind of cloth ish material in the middle has kind of a suede on the sides here and then it has the leather type material on the outside so that's kind of cool it says GT right there no sport pedals though, so I'm surprised that they didn't put sport pedals on here. Cause I'm pretty sure a first edition has a uh, sport pedal, so that's kind of weird. But uh, let's go ahead and hop inside here. All right, push button start, of course. So we just boop, press the button. I love you twice as much today. Starts right up. Look at the steering wheel; it has a nice feel to it. White accent stitching on there. Feels really good. Okay, so the fan speed's kind of high right now. Let's see if I can turn that down. Press this go like that it's kind of cool you can see we have wireless charging down here lots of storage space cup holders got the little gt badge right here open this up 
you have more storage space in there and a 12 volt. This dashboard looks really nice having the suede right here, or I should say like clothish suede material. I don't know, that's, that's an interesting material right here. And then this speaker that goes across the top. This is a really nice design and I love how it's perfectly simplistic. It's not over, doesn't have too many buttons and it doesn't have everything controlled by the screen like some cars. Looking up top, we have LED lighting. We have the garage door opener right there. We have that nice glass roof and the sun is shining on us, but it actually doesn't feel that bad. So they engineered that to be resistant to sun heat. We have an auto dimming rear view mirror that is frameless. And there's our gauge cluster. Not much you can do with the gauge cluster. It looks pretty much the same all the time, except for you can turn on the lane keeping system or turn it off. You can see we are at, uh, okay, I can't see my charge percentage, but it looks like we're around uh, 75%. But other than that, the interior, there's not too much to see up here. It's nice and simple. Let's go ahead and check out the back seat and see if there's any room sitting behind myself at 6'5". Same way to open up the back, you just press the button right here and then it pops out and then you open it like that. Same materials as the front, looks really nice and I really like these door handles. That's a kind of a cool design there. Let's go and hop in here. See if I can fit behind myself. Well, I'm happy to report that I can fit behind myself. It is a little tight, I will admit it is a little tight, but I can fit behind myself here. And if you're shorter than 6'5", then you'll have no problem fitting in the back. We have two air vents back here for the rear passengers, and we have two USBs. Then looking over here, we have a center armrest. Let's go ahead and uh, let's undo the seat belt. And uh, there we go. Nice armrest here. The seats have that really cool design on the back as well. So they didn't skimp on the back seats. And then um, the headroom is actually surprisingly decent. Um, if I sit all the way back, my head can touch like right here, but if I'm up a little bit forward, my head doesn't touch. So they did a really good job with the rear seat headroom. Again, if you're less than six foot five and you don't have a really long torso like me, you should be, uh, you should be good back here. So let's go ahead and check out the trunk. Open it up by pushing the button. It is automatic. You see we got our license plate lights up here. So that's kind of interesting how they come with the trunk. And we also have a LED with a pony logo back there. Lots of room back here. You can put a lot of stuff and you can fold down those seats. You also have a 12 volt right here and a speaker. Let's go ahead and open up this and see what's under here. We got even more storage space and then there's for your charging and your fix a flat kit. So that's really cool there too. And let's check out these floor mats. Let's see how nice they are. Okay. So they're not super plush like some Ford cars, but they do look really nice and they have that cool border around them with the accent stitching. But overall trunk space really good and it has a built-in cover so that you don't have to like pull anything. All right guys, now let's get to my favorite part. I'm gonna bring this vehicle up to the front. It is available as of this video. So if you guys are in the Vegas area and you wanna check out a Mach-E GT or buy one, go ahead and uh, check out this one. Well, let's go ahead and bring it up to the front. You can see it shows in the seatbelt warning that uh, seatbelt I unbuckled back there. That's kind of cool. That's uh, called like the belt minder or something. I forgot what they call it. Oh, <laughs> okay. That's crazy how stealth and how quick it is. And if you guys have been paying attention to Mach E GTs online, you know that um, apparently you get max power for five seconds. And then after that, um, Ford limits the power to preserve battery life because apparently they want a 70% battery health by seven years. So that's kind of cool that they thought about long term. But um, it would be kind of interesting to see if they come out with a model or a software update to make it so that you get the 480 horsepower throughout instead of having it really taper off up top. But I'm telling you around town, this thing just snaps your neck back. You might need one of those neck braces. All right guys, just pulled up the drive modes here. You can see we have Whisper, Engage, and Unbridled. Let's go ahead and pop it into Unbridled. That's kind of like uh, the sport mode. And it does have this Unbridled Extended. I'm not sure what that means. Um, we can go ahead and, uh, actually let's look at the information on it. Okay, well I'm not gonna read that while I'm driving, but you guys can pause it if you want. But we'll test, it. we'll see if we can test it out. But let's first start off in Unbridled. It has point straight here. 
Let's do a little one. Oh man, okay. <laughs> you even get a little bit of torque steer. That's really interesting. Like you kind of tug the wheel a little bit. Wow. <laughs> then you can turn on your one pedal drive if you want. Um, let's see what this unbridled extended is all about. So I'm gonna come to a stop here and turn on the extended. Um, doesn't show that it's available right now. Okay, well we'll leave that, well hold on, let me go. Okay, well I can't use the unbridled extended right now, so I'll figure out how to do that later, but. Oh man, that's crazy. <laughs> it even gets like slippage up front. Wow. I'm telling you guys, these things are super fast. I mean, at least at low speeds for five seconds or whatever, they're really, really fast. But I'm gonna find a spot to put this, so if you guys enjoyed my quick little video sharing my thoughts on the Mach-E GT, give it a like, subscribe, let me know what you guys wanna see more of, and I will see you in the next one.